Now, that's a thought, Bruno said, perking up a bit. But how am I going to open the door of the fridge to get at the cold chicken and all the leftovers? That's something I do every evening at home. Maybe your father will get you a special little mouse fridge all to yourself, I said. One that you can open. You say a witch did this to me, Bruno said. Which witch? The one who gave you the chocolate bar in the hotel lobby yesterday, I told him. Don't you remember? The filthy old cow, he shouted. I'll get her for this. Where is she? Who is she? Forget it, I said. You don't have a hope. Your biggest problem at the moment is your parents. How are they going to take this? Will they treat you with sympathy and kindness? Bruno considered this for a moment. I think, he said, that my father is going to be a bit put out. And your mother? She's terrified of mice, Bruno said. Then you've got a problem, haven't you? Why only me, he said. What about you? My grandmother will understand perfectly, I said. She knows all about witches. Bruno took another bite of his sandwich. What do you suggest? he said. I suggest we both go first of all and consult my grandmother, I said. She'll know exactly what to do. I moved towards the doors which were standing open. Bruno, still grasping part of the sandwich in one paw, followed after me. When we get out into the corridor, I said, we're going to run like mad. Stick close to the wall all the way and follow me. Do not talk and do not let anyone see you. Don't forget that just about anyone who catches sight of you will try to kill you. I snatched the sandwich out of his paw and threw it away. Here goes, I said. Keep behind me. <laughs>